Hey guys. So as some of you might know, Google and LifeX announced last week that the Google Assistant would now support LifeX. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of a walkthrough on how to set it up and then maybe take a look at how it actually works in practice. So in Google Home, you would kind of expect that, you know, you could go to devices and perhaps there you could maybe add a device or something. It's not really an option though, nothing. Where it actually is, is under the home control. So if you go here, see now this came up, you can add a device. There's a bunch of options, we're gonna choose LifeX. Go down to authorize. Then we're going to assign a bedroom. I'm going to sign here. Sign. And what you can do is you can actually say done. Make the bedroom blue. Got it. Let's go bedroom. You can set a nickname. So I'm going to go my room. Okay. So now that's all set up. You go back. You can see it's linked there. Okay, so let's test out some basic commands. Hey Google, turn the bedroom light on. You got it, turning the my room on. You can see it turns on. Hey Google, set the bedroom lights to 100%. Sure, setting the my room brightness to 100%. So you'll notice here that the transition was very abrupt. Now let's go back down. Hey Google, dim the bedroom lights. You got it, dimming the my room. All right, now let's see how Alexa does it. Alexa, make the bedroom lights brighter. Okay. You can see how she gradually kind of brightens it. It's a lot more pleasing and a little less jarring if you have a lot of lights. Hey Google, set the bedroom lights to blue. Okay, changing the my room to blue. It's pretty good with those colors, but you'll see it doesn't work with some. So, hey Google, set the bedroom lights to red. Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that, but I'm trying to learn. Alexa, set the bedroom lights to red. Okay. You'll see Alexa does it right away. She's a little bit clearer on these and she has had more time to learn, to be honest. Hey Google, set the bedroom lights to white. Okay, changing the my room to white. Didn't work. Hey Google, turn the bedroom lights off. You got it, turning the my room off. Hey Google, set the bedroom lights to white. Sure, changing the my room to white. So I can kind of <clears throat> supersede that command, you can see, by turning it off and then forcing it to, to set it to a color and turn on. But in general, I found that it does get pretty buggy sometimes. It forgets the previous setting of the light, sometimes it doesn't do a command you want, so that's a little bit annoying. Whereas Alexa pretty much does everything you want 100% uh, of the time, except if the Wi-Fi has been kind of disconnected from the LifeX bulb. So that's a quick summary of how the native LifeX integration works. I still think it needs a lot of work in terms of responsiveness, but given that it's so new, that's kind of to be expected. Thanks for watching guys, and stay tuned for more home automation videos like this.